it is really wonderful before I could, I could continue on the message. I love to ask a question. Walk it wisely. Last week we had five points. How many of you remember the five points? I see one hand. Nobody else? Okay, when you rem can you say all the 15? How many remember the 15 points? Okay, okay. Now we'll start with Lydia. Come, Lydia. We'll, we'll say the first, uh, uh, last five points first. Wise, pe wise people will win others' souls. Wise people will win many souls to their side. It's very good. That's the 11th point. They will be uh, strong and they will be strengthened by God's word and promises. They acquire more knowledge. The knowledge makes wise people strong, their strength, especially the knowledge of God, knowledge of the word of God. That's very good. The third one? They are humble-minded. Even when they are very strong, they will be humble-minded. They will be humble-minded. And uh, 14? They diligently discern their ways. They very diligently discern their ways. It's very good. They very diligently discern their ways. Okay, the 15th. They keep all the matters in their heart. They won't keep on blabbering. Restrain, restrain in the heart. They would be able to keep all matters in their heart. Restrain their heart. That's a better way to understand. They would be able to restrain. They know what they should talk, what they should not talk what they should retain in their house. They are wise people, they won't be blah, 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 blah. Very good, we'll just give Lydia a big hand. And Lydia said that she knew first 10 points also. Anybody knew the first 10 points? Okay, now we try to recollect with Lydia. Yes, Lydia. They will make their parents glad, elders. They make parents, elders, especially those who are concerned of them. They are pastors, teachers, those who are concerned of them. And they would make those people glad. They are wise people, yes? They take corrections. Whenever somebody, especially those who are concerned of them, and they give a correction, they take correction. Then only they can grow. So wise people take correction. They take counsel. They take counsel. Wise people will take counsel from many people, not the counsel of the ungodly. They'll take the counsel of godly. That's very good. And for... Abide by laws and commandments. Yeah, abide by rules, regulations, laws and commandments. It's not only Bible laws. It's a law in the family, law in the school, law in the nation, law in the church. That's the principle for us to move, uh, move at ease. So we should, the wise people will, will not uh, fight against the law. And more, all the more, they abide by the laws of God. That's right. Next one, I think it's the fifth. Accept reproof in a positive attitude. They accept reproof in a positive attitude. They will not rebel against when they, somebody scolds at them. They say it's an anointing on their head. They'll take it as an anointing on their head. That's right. Next one. They lay up knowledge. They will lay up. They will acquire, gather. They will aspire to acquire, they will perspire to acquire more and more knowledge. They are wise people. They will not waste time in useless things, unprofitable things, just some games to spend time, some video games or some chat things, or just unprofitable things. They love to acquire more knowledge. Not just an academic knowledge, just to say that who is the president of America, now, which Bush died yesterday, H. Bush or W. Bush, they will not be breaking their head more on that. That's good. That's good. You want to write a GK examination, that's good. It's good. But here the knowledge is more the knowledge of God, the knowledge of God's principle, knowledge for success, etc. Et they lay up knowledge. Yes, that's right, Ma. They use their knowledge, all right. And when we have that knowledge, we use that knowledge aright. It's a knowledge that I should not borrow loan. It's the knowledge that one who takes loan is a slave to one who gives. One who takes loan is a slave to one who gives. The debtor is a slave to the creditor. It's a knowledge. A wise man will apply that knowledge aright. 
A fool will say, oh, what is wrong in it? I can pay it. It's, it's, I can manage it. It's, it's our foolishness. The knowledge what we acquire, apply it in the right way. Otherwise, what, no, no use of that knowledge. I got a knowledge from the word of God, from the general knowledge. My tata has said, my appa has said, my amma has said, my wife has said, don't borrow alone. The Bible says, I got knowledge. When I use that knowledge I right, I'm a wise man. When I don't use that knowledge, I think, oh, I can manage. I can overcome the knowledge of my tata, I can overcome the knowledge of my parents, I can overcome the knowledge of God, I can overcome the knowledge of the Bible, and I can manage. That's a foolishness. So a wise person applies knowledge right. And the next one? They will be able to teach and others can learn from them. So when they speak, out of their lips, learning will come. Learning will come. They may be small children. But when they speak in a wise way, we can learn something out of them. So learning will come out of their lips, yes? The words of the wise people is a tonic. The words of a wise people is a tonic. It strengthens us. It's, a, it's not just a medicine to heal, it is a tonic to strengthen us. One more. They will be, uh, they will turn away wrath or anger. So the daddy or mummy or the officer or the king or any superior or a, a pastor, any superior, they got some anger. Say so a wise child will know how to turn away the wrath of her father. A wise wife will know how to turn away the wrath of her husband the wrath of an officer, the wrath of a king. So it's the wise person. Very good. Give Lydia a big hand. Hallelujah. Thank you, my God. Bless you. Surendra said that he knew it and we'll just have a run through of all the 15 points. Surendra, please do come. Make your parents and other people glad. Very good. Not all. Don't make everybody glad. The very important thing, those who are concerned of you, okay? Not just our friends, or, uh, not making everybody glad. Many a time by trying to make everybody glad, we'll become sad. So don't try to make everybody glad, your parents. Those are concerned of you. We should not make them sad. They are concerned of us. So make them glad, yes? Very good. Number two, take correction. Very good. Number three, listen to counsel. Yes, that's very important. Receive commandments. Okay. Listen to commandments. That's right. Number five, take reproof. Very good. Number six, search for knowledge. Search for knowledge and acquire more knowledge. Very good. Number seven. Se number seven, learn from the knowledge and understand from it. Yes, apply that knowledge and understanding in a right way. Yes, Surendra. Number eight, able to teach others and learn from your teaching. Yes, it's not only are you able to teach others, when you talk, Others must be able to learn from you. Others must be able to learn from you. The words of learning must flow out of your mouth. That's right. Number nine, learn from your lips and learn from your words because tongue is a tonic. Hmm. Tongue is a tonic that should be able to encourage others, strengthen others. Very good. And number ten. Number ten, turn others' anger. Turn others' anger. That's right. Eleven. Number eleven, win others' soul. Win many souls, as many as possible on your side. The wise people will know to win souls. Number uh, 12. Have the knowledge about the Holy One. Uh, the, have the, uh, it's the knowledge of the Holy One makes a wise person strong. The knowledge of the Holy One, the Bible principle, His promises. The knowledge that he is with us, even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, that knowledge makes a wise person strong. Yes, ma. Very good. The 13. Number 13, be humble. Be humble. Even when you are very knowledgeable, very strong in faith, be humble. Yes. 14. Know your way and understand your way. Know your way. What's that you are going to do? Know your way. Understand. Uh, Distinctly, diligently discern your way. Very good. Fifteen. 
Keep everything in your heart and yes. have the burden to pray for it. Yes, keep everything in your heart. Don't become blah, blah, blah. That is, you must be able to restrain, you must be able to control your heart, your thought process, etc. Give surrender a very big hand. I am really... When I could see these people giving all these 15 points, I don't say they learnt very well. I think that I taught very well. <laughs> Hallelujah! <laughs> Praise the Lord. Really, I appreciate the uh, uh, children. And uh, many people might have a hesitancy to come forward and share, I know very well. Now just I give you one to have a small test. They said very correctly, 1, 2, 3, 14, 15. Now I say point number 10, point number 12. How, uh, let me see how many are we able to answer, okay? We'll start. What is point number 15? Restrain your heart, restrain your heart. Point number 10. Turn away the wrath. Very good, very good. Point number one. Make parents, those are concerned of you, glad. Very good. Point number eleven. Win souls. Proverbs 28-26 He that trusteth in his own heart is a fool. But whoso walketh wisely, he shall be delivered. When we walk wisely, we will be delivered, saved from every difficult, hostile, contrary situations. In the first two parts, we were able to study 15 points. I appreciate our dear children, those are able to bring out all the 15 points. And it's a, small, it's a very simple way for me to revise what we have studied for the, last two, for the last two weeks. It's a small revision. So when our children were giving these points, we are revising the first 15 points. Let us go to Proverbs chapter 14, verse 16. Proverbs 14, 16. One who is wise is cautious and turns away from evil, but a fool is reckless and careless. I love to read this again, very important. One who is wise, if you are wise, brother, sister, young boy, young girl, if you are wise, he is cautious, he is very cautious, he is very cautious, she is very cautious. They are very cautious and turns away from evil. Is that anything called evil? Is that anything called evil? In one open forum, somebody asked Dr. Avizagadiyas, there is nothing called absolute evil. One man's bread may be another man's poison. So Ravi Zagadiyas said, yes, he given a very good maxim. But let me ask a question. Have you got a daughter? That man said, yes. What about her age? She said something, 16 or something. Okay, when your daughter was returning from school or something, some five or six people they kidnap her, takes her to a lonely place, strips of her stock naked. Is that way? Don't say. One, he just continued, one by one. Violently they started raping her. Is that? Don't say. Why? It's a bread for them. Your daughter is the bread for them. They put their head down. 
How can you say that one man's bread is another man's poison? It may be a poison for your daughter, it may be a poison for your family. It is a bread for him. What's wrong in it? Let him enjoy his bread. Let him enjoy his bread. Let them rape your daughter. What is wrong in it? It is their bread. Nonsense. If you know something is good, there must be something evil. If there is no evil, then there is no good. If there is nothing called evil, then there's nothing, there can be nothing called good. If this is good, then that must be evil. If there is no evil, this cannot be good. It's a very simple logic. We must know what is good, we must know what is evil. That talks about the wise man. Is this application good or bad? You can't say this application is not, this mobile application is, you can't say it is not good, it is not bad. It is okay. No, there is nothing, uh, it is okay. There is no demilitarized zone. There is no demilitarized zone. Either it is good or it is bad. Just think about the mobile applications you have got. That game. Is that good or is that bad? Mommy, it's not good. Then, oh, it's not bad also. Rubbish. Rubbish. In it, see, in philosophy, bad or evil is not the opposite of good. Evil is not the opposite of good. Can anybody tell me what is that? Light is not the opposite of darkness. Pardon? Absence. Evil is the absence of good. If good is not in that, it is evil. If good is not in that, it is evil. If light is not there, it is darkness. Light is not the opposite of darkness. Darkness is not the opposite of light. Darkness is the absence of light. Evil is the absence of good. So please don't allow the devil to deceive you. It is neither good nor bad. It's okay. It's only the prank of the age. No. There can be more problem in the youth. That's why the Bible says, don't run away from the lust of a child. Don't run away from the lust of an old person. It says that, run away from the lust of the youth. So the age youth will have some problems. But the age youth is the strongest time. You, you can overcome devil. I'm telling the youth, John writes, I'm telling the young people, you can overcome the devil because they are young. You got the strength. You got the knowledge. You got the knowledge. A child may not have that knowledge. An old person may be physically weak, but you have got the knowledge, you are strong in the mind. You are strong in the mind. So if you are wise, I am not just saying only the application, because you people are more familiar with those things, I just said that. If that, if that is not profitable, that will give you loss. If you are a wise person, go home and delete all the unprofitable 
applications. If it is of no use, it can waste your time, it can waste your character. It will rob your time to study. It will disturb your personality. See, many things are produced by wrong people with wrong intentions. I don't know how many of you know this. This famous Barbie doll, the famous Barbie doll, was or originally developed by a witch to seduce people. The Barbie doll is not for the children to play, it is to seduce men. The exaggerated parts of women especially. And sometime back, they, sometime back, long back, they gave a doll, uh, Bobby was pregnant and you can remove the womb and there will be a small child in it. And Bobby doll concept, you can change dress. You can change the dress of that Bobby. You know why? Sisters, you should forgive me for sharing this, so that you can be careful about these things. The very intention was, just children or adults to put their hands on the human, the, the parts of the body and play with it. To understand how a child could be, how a woman can become pregnant, how the child would be in that womb. With that evil concept, Bobby doll was developed. The he-man was a counterpart of the Bobby doll, just to see muscle men. We cannot see that muscle man everywhere. We can't see any muscle man like that. Your father is not a muscle man like that. Your brother is not a muscle man like that. He doesn't have that type of muscles and all. It is, for, it is to seduce girls. Many of these games, like Blue Whale, we had a uh, an open forum, a, a group discussion on Blue Whale, with all evil intention. If you are a wise person, you know how to turn away from evil things. That friendship is evil. That friendship, that is evil. That girl. So we can love sinners, Jesus loved sinners, but he was That boy, that brother, he speaks against the church, speaks against the pastor, speaks against the principal, speaks against the teacher, speaks against the boss. You are close with him, you will become evil and you will be suspected you'll be rated one with that person. So if you are a wise person, you'll turn away. It's, it's one thing is win souls. But we must be able to run away from the evil sources. It's a very important lesson. I love that you could take it in your heart. So the sixteenth point, a wise person turns away from evil. But a fool is reckless and careless. Ah, what's wrong in it? I know, I can manage. You, you, you don't know anything. He's very careless. He doesn't want to be careful. His friends, his associates, his business partners. See, because of that business partner, your name is spoiled. Your name is spoiled. Think for a minute. Think for a minute. Is a real incident. One person, 
came to a church. Then nearly next week, he didn't come. He didn't come. So the pastor asked him, say, what happened? You came to the church, you're not coming. Say, that man is there, he's a fraud. He's not, uh, I don't want to be a part of that church. He's a fraud. What is that, what happened? He took money from me, he didn't return, etc., etc. So that pastor asked that gentleman, that brother, say so and so, say something like this, what's the problem? It's a very sad thing. He said, not I, my partner. My partner borrowed. Not I, my partner, my friend borrowed. His friend borrowed that money and he was recognized as a fraud. So this man who came to the church, when he saw this brother, he said, that fraud is in the church, I don't want to come to the church. He's not a, this man is not a fraud, he is foolish. So he is a foolish person, he is reckless and careless. He doesn't want to turn away from evil friends. He doesn't want to disassociate himself from wrong friendships. A wise person, I literally I tell you what has happened. A pastor's son, I know that pastor very well. That pastor's son, he was studying in Lyola College. Some years back this happened. So from Lyola College to Sterling, Roundana, it's one just straight road. So this boy was coming on his bike. One of his classmates was at the pillion. At the Sterling Road that round Anna, the police stopped. The police took these two boys to the custody. One was at the pillion and this boy, that's pastor's son. They were beaten up black and blue. The next morning this pastor was going to the prison uh, not the prison, this police custody, to see his son. That boy was only with an underwear. All the dress was removed. The marks were all over the body. He was crying, crying. What happened? This boy didn't know what happened. Literally, what was the problem? At that time, the video cassettes, we had to go and borrow from a shop, a lending shop. And also we had to borrow that deck, the video cassette player, VCR, VCP. We had to borrow, maybe for half a day or one hour, two hours like that. Then we had to return the deck. You know, Joe had that business earlier. So in Anna Nagar, what has happened? There was an opera, a uh, uh, modus operandi, they will borrow this, some criminals, borrow this uh, record player or something from the shop and they will run away with it. Like that in and around Anand Nagar, many VCPs, VCS are lost, so the complaints are lost. They are looking out for those criminals. The boy who was at the pullian was the key person. He was studying in Lila College. So the police was standing there to arrest this criminal. The only mistake this pastor's son did, bringing that in the bike. They inquired by our party, a friend of They inquired. Very strong, a friend of them. Then they took him away. You're careless. I know the pastor, I know his son. And the sad part of it, in school he studied under me. So it was a very personal tragedy for us. If somebody is not good, somebody is evil in the church, in your school, in your business, if they are wrong, if you are a wise person, you will turn away from them. 
If you are foolish, you are careless, reckless, you go all along with them and be punished. Just that shows whether you are wise or foolish. It's not whether you are good or bad. It's a question whether you are wise or you are foolish. So a wise person turns away from evil or evil persons. The 17 one, the 17, that's 20, 26. It, it, it may be a little difficult to understand, please listen. A wise king, a wise king, winnows the wicked and driving the wheel over him. Driving the wheel over him. Driving the wheel over the wicked. Can anybody just give a comment on that? What is driving a wheel on the wicked? The wise king will drive a wheel on the wicked. Can anybody say what could that be? Look, it, it's a very simple thing. Uh, can you at least, we'll go to the next step, you'll be able to give an answer. What is the purpose of his doing that? Punishment? It's a punishment, yes. Anybody else? To make him straight to make him straight, as the road roller. And you put that road roller on him, and it will make him, so he's got some idea, to make him straight. He's closer, he's closer to the answer, but it's not a road roller. Okay, this is a very, I mean probably, those who are given in farming you will understand, to bring out the husk, uh, chaw from the grain. In some villages they make the uh, bullocks to walk on it. So it walks and walks and walks. And when it walks, it will remove the chaw, uh, the skin, it will peel off the skin of the grain and you will see the rice inside. Have you seen that? Okay, some of you have seen that. In some places, so there, it is a roller. Even now they use a roller in some places. So when the roller is run over the grain, it removes the chaff, or the outer coat, and the grain is taken. It's not just to make that powder, it's not just to crush it, it's a threshing floor. In the threshing floor, the first thing what they do is remove the grain from the uh, sheaf. Remove the grain from the sheaf. Then, in, in these days they take it to the rice factory. Am I right? Rice factory. And the rice factory, Tamil Nadu Salwanga. Arisiyale, Arisiyale, that's right. Arisi alayla and the nella kondu podu vangai. Appam chinna chinna urla arukku. Idu and the nella and the urla valiya varum bodhu and the umi. Umi yalla vandhu. And the umi yalla vandhu parahe arisi matra var adatila kottu. Arisi vadaya kudadu. Chariyan and the strength vaykkenu. Romba load kudutta I see powder I do. Ilana water noringiro. So the right pressure must be given in that wheels to separate only the wumi from that nell. So that RC will come out. Then polishing is another process where they take the husk, tavudadupang. Is the wumi a matra nikwang. Wumi adupang. Nala wise king. Dunmar can mele urle ye urtuan. Abdina, or son of meaning, very straight takwa putting her the ilana. I want to recur a wumi, I want to recur a dunmar kate, nakre again, the same mother, same. And by person, ma, dikanama, what they can mat, allegra kati tonga udanama. Yena pandala. Rumba wait with the crush panirakuda. One pulley thandi, kulla nanakyad. 
ஒன்று அவன் திருந்தட்டும்லாம் அடிக்கிற அடியில் அவன் ஓடி போட்டோம் இல்லைனா சனியை சாப்பிட்டோம் அப்படி அடிக்காது ஒரே ஒரு பர்பஸ் அந்த உமியை நீக்கணும் வட் அ பவர்ஃபுல் பேசேஜ் இட் இஸ் வட் அ பவர்ஃபுல் பேசேஜ் இட் இஸ் ஸோ எ வைஸ் பர்சன் இன் யுவர் லைஃப் வாட் எவர் த விக்கெட் you must be able to take that out you must be able to take that out from that silver you must be able to take the dross out from the gold you must be able to take the moss out from the wicked we must be able to take the wickedness out it is not totally destroy that person you would be very carefully handling that person to take the chaff out that's why you put the wheel on him you put the wheel on him you must be able to give the ex- exert the exact pressure you must be able to exert the exact pressure you can't overdo it you can't underdo it you can't overdo it you can't underdo it he'll be crushed a wise person will know what how he should talk for one child just a look will do a look will do we not even be angry just a pastor bakra for another thick skin a look will not satisfy a look will not pay கோபமாக மறைக்கணும் பி குவாயட் அப்படின்னு சொல்லணும் அது வரைக்கு தே கே நாட் கெட் செட்டில்டு சம் பீப்புள் ஹேவ் அ பஃபல்லோ ஸ்கின் நாட் அ லுக் நாட் அ ஸ்டேரிங் குச்சி எடுத்து அடிக்கணும் சில மாடு வழியில் நிற்கும் நல்லா ஓங்கி அடிச்சிங்கன்னா திரும்பி பார்க்கும் போகாது அடியை வாங்கிட்டு இப்படி திரும்பி பார்க்கும் யார் அடிக்கிறது so what is the skin you have got what is the thickness of wickedness you have got your mother says ma you don't use that okay mummy very simple just a word will do okay mummy okay daddy so my mother says this for my benefit my daddy says this for my benefit i will do it i do it secretly i keep it under the pillow and do it i cover myself with a bed sheet and play with the game nonsense then they have to be very angry they have to remove that gadget from you then you scream they scream everybody scream there in tamil there is one wonderful saying nalla maattukku sollunga oru soodu narpanditharukku oru sollu நல்ல மாட்டுக்கு ஒரு சூடு போட்டால் போதுமா நல்ல மனுஷாளுக்கு ஒரு தடவை சொன்னால் போதும் சிலது எத்தனை தடவை சொன்னாலும் புரியாது அப்போ அது என்ன இல்லை நல்ல மனுஷன் இல்லை நல்ல பிள்ளை இல்லை ஒரு தடவை அதை வச்சிருமா அப்படின்னா வச்சா அது நல்ல பிள்ளை நாலு அறை கொடுத்தா தான் வைப்பேன்னா அது பாவம் எருமை மாட்டு பிள்ளை அது அம்மாவை சொல்லலை பிள்ளையை சொல்கிற எருமை மாட்டு பிள்ளைன்னு அம்மாவை திட்ட நினச்சிடாதீங்க this is how we are wise or not a wise person is delivered he that walks wisely is delivered he that walks wisely is delivered that's a one time don't do it you learn from that you take that counsel you take that correction you take that reproof you take that law you are a wise person the chaff is removed from you and on the other side a wise person must be able to remove the chaff from others a wise mother a wise father must be able to remove the chaff from their children so with the teachers 16 a wise person turns away from evil 17 a wise person drives wheel over wicked or wickedness 18 we meditate on this many a time 
But in this series I touch and go. Proverbs 21.20. Proverbs 21.20. Precious treasure and all are in a wise man's dwelling. But a foolish man devours it. Precious treasure and oil are in a wise man's dwelling. Prosperity is in his house. Prosperity is in his house. Precious treasures are in wise man's house. Oil that talks about again prosperity. Balam. Balamana Val. A few days back in the house, in the house dedication, I spoke on this caption Balamana Val. Balamana Valvu doesn't depend on your income. Balamana Valvu, prosperity, a prosperous life, is based on your wisdom. It is based on your wisdom. See, just imagine yesterday morning, uh, first morning, in the prayer I said, so we have to feed more than 5,000 people. Women alone 5,000. More than 5,000 people. Uh, men alone 5,000. More than 5,000 people we have to feed. So they have to buy food for 300. Uh, 300, what we call that. Uh, their money. 300 silver. They don't have 300 silver. Even if they buy for 300 silver, that may not be sufficient for, all the, for that crowd. Even if they buy it for 300 silver, that may not be sufficient, su sufficient for all of them. So they are very much worried about it. They are very much worried about it. And uh, we had to go for the 300 uh, silver. But there was a boy with five loaves of bread and two fishes. Five loaves of bread and two fishes. And when Jesus blessed that five loaves of bread and two fishes, all the people are go were fed, they all were satisfied. So the small equation, don't worry that you don't have 300 serpents. You don't worry that you don't have 300 rupees. You ask God to bless that five loaves of bread and two fishes. Ask God to bless what you have. That's a wise person. A foolish person will be worried about that he doesn't have 300 rupees. But a wise person he knows that if God could bless these five loaves of bread and two fishes, all the needs can be met with. All the needs can be met with. That's a simple formula. So it is not your income that decides your lifestyle, your wisdom that decides your lifestyle. Your wisdom that decides your lifestyle. So here we see, in the house of, in the dwelling of a wise person, there will be precious things. There will be precious things. There are some houses I have seen, very small, just one room house, there is a bedroom, there is a hall, there is a kitchen. There they will keep all precious things. All precious things. In some houses, they will have a very beautiful sofa. Only you can see a dog and another cat sleeping on it. In the remaining place, we can't sit because the earlier the dog slept there. Now the dog doesn't want to sleep there because it's become dirty, it sleeps in another sofa. They will have a sofa. Once I 
went to visit the house. So it is our custom to remove the chapels. So I was removing my shoes. The gentleman inside said, Padri, 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 don't remove, come on, come in, come in. So I went in with the shoes. They had a carpet, very thick carpet. Very thick carpet. That carpet will have at least, the, for the thickness is contributed by at least one inch of dust. I really praise God, had I gone there without my shoes on, probably I will have some blisters, scapes. It is not whether we got riches or papers, paper currencies or not, bank balance or not, wisdom is essential. Because of the wisdom, we will have precious things in our houses and oil will be there. Oil will be there. Many years back, sister, sister and I went to a supermarket. We bought that monthly provision, that oil and all. We came out. Somebody from his office has noticed us. See how all people are see us. Noticed us that we are buying our monthly provision and coming out of the shop. So very cleverly he asked me, Oru master kuri ayil vangiru vingala? He said, yes. Vangana oru master irukku maa, irukku. Yenge utlala daily dhaan pey vangu. Daily dhaan vangu. He said, why? Why do you buy it daily? Daily Vanganala or Nalak in the end of Podo. Motaman, you are selling with Lorena Lay is Punir Vang. You will have a bottle of Angurthal, Vernal Renala and a Mudinji Podo, and Allah we buy everything daily. So that's because of the foolishness. It just happened for us, I'm telling you, it's not a story. Why do I say this? It is the wisdom that decides our prosperity. Certain examples, if I give, don't think that I'm trying to say I am wise. When we started this ministry, somebody who studied commerce told me, Pastor, we must know commerce in running an institution. It's not your mathematics would help. Almost the same words he said, we must have commerce. Your mathematics will not help to run an institution. I don't know whether it is commerce or mathematics or arithmetic, trigonometry or geography or history. With this sweet, good little flock, there's no one to say very rich. There's no one to say very rich. With this wonderful fellowship, uh, flock, we have got all these things from zero. It's not based on the wisdom, but I tell you, if you have got God-given wisdom, your life, your family, your children, they all will be satisfied with goodness. Say winter, is, uh, rainy season is coming. I, I know I have seen it with many people. Only when the rain forecast, there will be heavy rain. Ah, Adalam Varad. There will be heavy rain, Adalam Varad. There will be rain for three days. Then sixth day or seventh day, the rain will come. It lasts for four days. From October, somebody would have said, they were rain coat vangada, patikla, rain coat vangada, patikla, rain coat vangada, patikla. Kade sila, malayla, oru valley in saye mudiyame. அவங்க 
In many places they had emergency light. We also had a few emergency lights. Very good emergency lights. They will work when there is electricity. They will not work when there is power off. Because they were not charged. They were not charged. When there is power off, you can see that uh, the emergency lamp working. It is not because we don't have these things, because we don't have wisdom. Because we don't have wisdom. Because we don't apply the knowledge correctly. What is the number of that point? Applying knowledge correctly. Seventh. The sixth point, a wise person lays up knowledge. Okay, it's going to rain. This is the monsoon season. It rains. So what should I do? How should I prepare for the rainy day? It's a wise person. He applies his knowledge aright. So because of wise wisdom, our dwelling place will be filled with precious things and oil. We will not lack oil. Because we know how to use oil. So we will not lack oil. We will not lack oil. My dear brother, my dear sister. So when you are wise, you will be blessed with all blessings. Let me go very quickly to point number 19. Point number 19. Proverbs 24, 3. By wisdom, house is built. And by understanding, it is established. Wisdom builds house. Hundreds of CDs have been sold only on that point. So I don't want to elaborate on that. If you want to know more about it, you can buy that CD, Wisdom Builds House, Wisdom from Above. That builds our family. If there is wisdom in the father or mother or even in the children, that wisdom will help for the family to be built. That wisdom will help for the family to be built. Wisdom helps family to be built. So we need that wisdom, wisdom that can build us, build our families. So the 20th point, with this I'm concluding this series, but I don't say it is conclusive, it's only comprehensive. You can read the Bible and you can add many more points. So Proverbs 8, 9, they are all straight to him who understands. Or in Tamil we read, who is wise. They are all straight to him who, who is wise or who understands. And right to those who had knowledge. All these things are right to, right to, uh, right to find, who find knowledge. What are those things? They are straight. They are right to him. What are those things? That we read from verse 6. Here, for I will speak noble things, and from my lips will, I, will, will come what is right. I'll speak noble things, and from lips come what is right. For my mouth will utter truth. Wickedness is abomination to my lips. All the words of my mouth are righteous. There is nothing twisted or crooked in them. There is nothing twisted or crooked in them. Then he says, they are all straight. To him, what all straight? The noble things, the right things, the truth, the righteousness. They are all straight to him who understands and right to those who find knowledge. If you are a wise person, noble things, noble things, you like noble things because you are a wise person. If you are a foolish person, you like base things. 
You like base things. When I give this illustration, I don't want to be hurt, only to make this clear, I say repeatedly. It is all the difference between a pig and a lamb. A lamb will have its choice, it will feed on grass. A pig will have its choice. A pig will, that's a difference. A wise person will love to talk noble things. He talks noble things. He loves to hear noble things. He wants to hear instructions of noble things. Very high things. But a, a wicked person, he loves cheap jokes. Trash. Trash. What can I say trash? Kuppa. Chumma. Kadenge. Ambla kada, pambla kada. Yar yenga panna, enna panna. Dirty kada. Story with uh, double meaning. Only these things will taste some people. Only these things will taste some people. You teach something from the word of God, something philosophy, something very noble, something... Eh, bore it together, that's it. Nada kalam mari wala di trikir, Allah parambat ikil anda. Awan kadal interest te varad. Interest te varad, adh kekirad, adh pesirad, apdi yor book vasikirad. Eh, nada kandh Bible vas te trikir, paiti. Nada vaisa itse, kalam anda chao pariya. Pogadh Bible anada arik, bore it ikid, Bible lo kandh anantara vas te trikir. He doesn't like it. It will not taste him. It will not taste him. I repeat it, it will not taste him. Reading the Bible will not taste that person. It will not taste that girl. She may, instead of reading the Bible, what is very palatable to her, what is very tasty to her, maybe to see a porn movie. That's very tasty to her. Ah, some trash, third-rate joke, some humor. That is very tasty to that person. Ah, to play a video game, totally unprofitable, very harmful. Waste of time, waste of energy, waste of resource. Personality slaughtered. But he is, it's very palatable, it's very tasty for him. Sometimes they get hooked to it, sometimes they become addicted to it. They'll wait for an opportunity to play that game. They wait an opportunity to do that. They may not know where they are playing. They play it in the bathroom, they play it in the bus stand, they play it in the prayer hall, they play it everywhere. They are, I mean, they, they love it. In the restroom also they will play it. They'll come to the church and also they'll play it. Because they love it. It's very tasty for them. It's all a question whether you are wise or you are foolish. It's all a question whether that is a lamb or that's a pig. Don't be hurt by that. You are a person, what tastes you? What tastes you? You get five minutes. What is that you want to do in that five minutes? That's the person you are. But I got five minutes. The five minutes are two and two and two. You are a person, what that tastes you. You are a person, what that tastes you. If you are a person who desires noble things, who desires truth, want to study, want to get more marks, I want to join medicine, I want to do space technology, if that person who has got a desire, I must please my teachers, I must please my parents, I must make my parents glad, I must make my teachers glad. If you have got that mindset, if you have got that mindset, you will go after noble things. And you don't want to make your parents glad. 
எனக்கு ஸ்மார்ட் ஃபோன் ஏ ஸ்மார்ட் ஃபோன் வச்சு என்ன தான் பண்ணுறேன் எல்லோரும் வச்சுருக்காங்க எனக்கு ஃபோன் எல்லாம் நான் காலேஜுக்கு போக மாட்டேன் டே சாப்பாட்டுக்கு வழி இல்லைடா எனக்கு எல்லாம் தெரியும் நீ என்ன ஏன் பெத்த அம்மா கண்ணீர் வடிக்கிறேன் இவனுக்கு ஸ்மார்ட் ஃபோன் வேணும் அம்மா செத்தாலும் பரவாயில்ல அப்பாவுக்கு கட்டுறதுக்கு கோமனம் இல்லாட்டாலும் பரவாயில்ல எனக்கு ஸ்மார்ட் ஃபோன் வேணும் எ ஃபூலிஷ் சைல்டு ஹூ கிவ்ஸ் பெயின் டு த பேரண்ட்ஸ் ஹூ மேக்ஸ் பேரண்ட்ஸ் ஷெட் டியர்ஸ் த வெரி பெயின்ஃபுல் பிகாஸ் ஆஃப் தோஸ் சில்ட்ரன் தே லவ் டு ஸ்மார்ட் வித் அ பைக் They are allowed to be smart with the phone. They want to take their friends. They want to roam with their friends like thugs. They are very proud of it. They, they, their desire is on that. It's all what you desire. If you are a wise person, you will desire noble things things that can profit you things that can make you more wiser things that can make you more wiser it's all a simple question whether we are wise or not he that walks wisely he that walks wisely is delivered is delivered become successful studies well gets gets good mark immediately gets good job then goes higher and higher and higher the foolish person may talk blah 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 but in everything zero but he will think that he is the hero everything zero he cannot climb on the higher ladders for all the successful people to the eyes of the wicked person they all are jubizits chicks but i not are walk chumma padichikitte nee enna pandra therla ninna kaaran adikittirukken goli adikittirukken sudugatla ukkandu dam adichikittirukken vera enna pandra summa oor suttittu vaare மவுண்ட் ரோடு ஸ்பென்சர்ஸ் அவ்வளோதானே அவன் சக்ஸஸ் ஐஏஎஸ் ஐபிஎஸ் நினைக்க முடியுதா குட் சைல்டு அப்படின்னு பெயர் வாங்க முடியுதா அதெல்லாம் வேணாம் அதெல்லாம் ஜிபிஜிஸ்க்கு தான் லைக் பட் அவன் சிக்கன்டா இஃப் யூ வாண்ட் டு பி வைஸ் டிசாயர் நோபிள் திங்ஸ் desire noble things today we just saw uh, five points a wise person turns away evil turns away from evil a wise person drives wheel over wicked uh, in the dwelling of a wise person there is prosperity prosperity in the house of a wise person a wise person knows how to build relationships how to build his family how to build his business etc and the 20th one a wise person will like noble things noble things are right noble things are good with a wise person i just read one verse to you and conclude proverbs 24 verse 14 know that wisdom is such to your soul wisdom is such to your soul such what in verse 13 we read my son eat honey for it is good and the dripping of the honeycomb are sweet to a taste so know that wisdom is like honey such if you find it there will be a future if you find wisdom there will be a future and your hope will not be cut off many time we take only the last part one nambike vein pogad one nambike vein kandipa na solren na solren thappa nenikathinga if you are not wise in number ellam veena poidu if you are wise one nambike vein pogad one nambike vein pogad that's why it is said if you are wise 
your hope will not be cut off if you are wise you got a future you got a bright future as a pastor we come to the end of the year we are in the last month of this year in the name of jesus i wish you all a very very bright future your hope will not be cut off god will grant and you what you desire you'll get the desire of your heart you'll be very successful in life you'll be very successful in life if you walk wisely shall we pray